Hey, this is Austin from Bullet Performance Transmissions, and today I'm going to walk you through the installation of a 6-speed S1 sequential shifter on a T56 Magnum. This installation is possible while the transmission is in the vehicle or on the bench. For the sake of this video, we will do the installation on a bench. Remove the six shifter bolts and pull the shifter housing off. Remove the four top cover bolts and pull the top cover off. Remove the bolt holding on the reverse lockout solenoid and pull the solenoid out. Remove the offset shift detent. It is a 5 16 hex head bolt. Next, we will remove the two plastic shifter bushings. I do this with a pair of snap ring pliers by twisting them out, but it can also be done with a screwdriver or a pick. Now we will install the blue shaft fitting. We will want to stick some tape on the bottom side of the M8 base retainers. This will make installing them much easier. Painter's tape is recommended. Now install the shaft fitting onto the factory shifter seat. The slot should face the driver's side. It should be a little snug and may need lightly tap down with a dead blow hammer or a rubber mallet. Slide the taped base retainers into place under the shifter seat and line them up with a pick. Then thread in the M8 button head bolt and tighten it down. Repeat this process with the back retainer bolt. This one can be easier since you can reach through the reverse lockout opening to position the retainer. Once the bolts are tight, just remove the tape. At this point, make sure the front retainer doesn't hit the reverse gear. We are now ready to install the S1 base plate. Make sure the ceiling surface is clean and apply a thin line of silicone. Install the base plate with the five countersunk bolts, torqued to 15 foot-pounds. Note that the base plate should cover the unused bolt hole to seal it off. If by chance you have a very early version of this base plate, you will need to seal this hole in another way. Now we are ready to dry assemble and test fit the S1 shifter. Align the shim over the base plate bolts. Ensure your S1 shifter is in neutral. You should be able to move the short lever on the shifter freely. The ball on the arm will seat in the slot of the driver's side of the shaft fitting. Once the shifter is down, be sure you can still move the selector arm freely. Now we must position the shifter so that it performs correctly and hits every gear smoothly. Install two allen head bolts on the shifter and leave them loose enough so that the shifter can move around in the slotted holes. Now slide the shifter body around while moving the selector arm. When you find the position that the selector arm moves the most freely, tighten the two allen head bolts. In some cases, you may need to remove the shim underneath the shifter to achieve this. Now check to see how it feels shifting through all the gears. Pulling the shifter arm towards you is an upshift and away from you is a downshift. If you hang in any gear or don't feel you are shifting smoothly, loosen the bolts and reposition the shifter body until everything feels good. Once all the shifts feel good, it's time to install the drill block on the back of the shifter. It may be necessary to drill or slot the bolt hole on the drill block to line up with the base plate threads. Now we can install the remaining bolts and tighten them down. Ensure the shifter is still functioning smoothly. We are now ready to drill holes for the roll pins that will lock the shifter in place. This step is crucial. Mark the spots where you will drill holes with a punch, and be sure the pin will not hit the block bolts or the casting of the case. We will have to be able to remove the pins. Drill the two 6mm holes all the way through the block and the base plate. Be sure to use some drill lubricant. Now install the roll pins and be sure to check the shifter still functions smoothly. If all is good, it's time to remove the shifter and reinstall with sealant. Punch out the roll pins and remove the four bolts holding the shifter on. Remove the shifter and the shim. Clean the surface of the base plate, shim, and shifter, and apply a thin bead of silicone between the base plate and the shim. Clean the surface of the base plate, shim, and shifter. Apply a thin bead of silicone between the base plate and the shim, and between the shim and the shifter. We will install the shim and the shifter the same as before. Once the shifter is down, thread in the four shifter bolts, but don't tighten them yet. Now install the roll pins and tighten the four shifter bolts. Your shifter should now be locked down and shifting smoothly. 
Install the plug in place of the shifter detent with some Teflon sealant. If you remove the mid plate, use silicone to reinstall and torque the forward bolts to 15 foot-pounds. Use silicone to install the reverse lockout plug. In some cases, you may have to oversize the plug's bolt hole to line up with the threads in the case. Be sure the plug sits flush and seals properly. Install the gear position sensor on the driver's side of the shifter with the two M4 bolts. You are now ready to enjoy your new sequential shifter. Thanks for watching this video, and we hope it helps you out. And we will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> see ya.